one of the first things that we're going to deal with, and there's been a lot of controversy about whether Billy Lynch existed or not, but you know my, my response is that there are a lot of realities that exist in our nation that mirror what Billy Lynch purported to have said. And the truth is, you know, I learned one thing from the book Pigs in the Parlor, that if you're in doubt, cast it out. If you have doubts, just cast it out. And it is alleged that Willie really Lynch wrote to a number of slave owners across the British Isles and the British Caribbean, telling them how to make a slave. And he said three things that you must create. You must create fear among them. And secondly, you must create among them distrust. And the third thing that you must create among them is envy. And you must magnify their differences. They will have natural differences, but I want you to magnify those differences. I want you to magnify the gender differences. I want you to magnify the color, the ethnic, the age differences. And once you magnify those differences, you will create a system of divide and conquer. Now let me say to you, this was purported to have been written in 1712. And he said that if you do what he says, he says to the plantation owners that this thing will be self-refueling, self-refueling, and self-generating. And it will last for 300 years. But guess what? This year is a 300th anniversary. stand here as a nation to break it to break every curse that it will not perpetuate in our society anymore is anybody with me now I want you to be involved in this and we're gonna make some decrees and I want you to lift up your voices so that God can hear you I want you to establish the word of God says, I have put my words in your mouth. And I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to uproot, to pull down and to destroy and to throw down. But, 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 but to build and to plant. The word of God says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and your light your light shall shine on the way when words are released out of our mouths we give them permission to exist in our nation come on say that after me in words I release out of my mouth I give them permission to exist in my life and in my nation. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord. Lift your right hands. Your hand of authority. You are in dominion right now. You are establishing dominion. And you use your right hand to demonstrate the hand of power and authority. And let's declare this together. I will declare it and you will proclaim it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now come on, you need to say it so that God can hear you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We the people of Barbados. Break all curses. Propagated, propagated by Willie Lynch, by Lynch and other British, and other British slave, owners slave owners from over the people of this nation, over the of this nation. Their, families, their families their relationships, their, relationships, their, 
relationships and their lives. In the name of Jesus, we break those curses. In the name of Jesus, we the people of Barbados break all the curses of ethnic, racial, color, intelligence, size, gender, class, differences that are magnified by the institution of slavery. We break those curses from over the population of Barbados. In the name of Jesus, we break all curses from over the population of Barbados. Curses of distrust. Fear. Initiated and imposed by the slave owners of the past and the plantation system in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we break all curses that are social, psychological, economical, relational, associated with chattel slavery in Barbados. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we the people of Barbados break all curses, social, mental, economic, associated with our masculinity, femininity, imposed by the plantation system and the plantation slavery and colonialism in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and the power of the blood of Jesus, we break all time release curses that would have manifested for 300 years in the lives of the people of Barbados. In the name of Jesus, we break those curses. Lift your right hands again. This is, this is monumental. What we are dealing here with is a monumental stronghold. So I want you to release strong declaration before God. Come on, Father. In the name of Jesus. And through the cross of Jesus Christ. And the blood of Jesus. We break all curses. That were imposed upon us. As a people. That made us. Dependent. On men. And especially the white plantation owners and the white plantocracy. We break every curse that imposed on us trust in men in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we break every curse by the blood of Jesus. We break every curse imposed by the black.
plantation system. Curses of poverty. Apathy. Addiction. Violence. Greed. Pauperism. Oppression. Inability to make money and keep it. We break that curse. We break the curse. We break the curse of ignorance. We break the curse of ignorance. And debt. And debt. Deprivation. Deprivation. From over the population. From over the population. Of our nation. Of our nation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.